What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming here with episode 2 of The Art of Osiris Blind Watch, a very very familiar map for every year one player I would hope, but a brand new map for Trials of Osiris. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you haven't checked out episode 1, please do so. If you're new to the series, let me tell you something. We pretty much tell you our mentality, our teamwork, our loadout, our weapons, callouts for the maps. On each Art of Osiris weapon, it'll feature a new map each episode. And we are on episode 2. As you guys know, I am the Ark Hunter, known as Snipes. And uh, yeah, I'm running the Thousand Yard Stair. It's just stock, comes from Vanguard, nothing special. All I really care about is that short gaze scope because it's not about the sniper, it's about the eye that's behind it. So thank you guys once again for tuning in. Uh, and make sure if you guys are trying to get better at these, uh, this series or, or pretty much anything in Destiny PvP related, that you hit that subscribe button and you tune into more of my videos because I will be gearing more towards PvP as we await new content in Destiny. Um, as you guys know, the game is is lacking content right now, but I'm sure Bungie and Activision will release some new content and some new news very, very, very soon. So, as you guys know, a lot of people ask me, hey, how do I get better at PvP? Well, starting here would be a good thing, and obviously just practicing on your own time because everybody knows practice makes perfect. Um, for those of you who are on the stream, you know, but if you're on YouTube... Uh, please do come check out our streams. TKO was in their very first Destiny tournament, both on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One last week. Um, we don't even play on PlayStation 4. We main Xbox. We play on both consoles, but we main Xbox. And we placed in the semifinals on both consoles. It was very, very fun, very competitive, and it was out of 2,200 teams. So getting like top eight, I believe, out of out of 2,200 teams on both consoles is, is, is not bad. And uh, we'll be competing in three more tournaments this following month in february so you can check all of those out in the twitch stream and obviously it's a great place for everyone to get together join the tko family and to see live gaming live beatboxing and just a lot of fun so anyways with three rounds in i haven't really explained anything but we have good side spawn what i'd like to say uh we say it's pretty much good side spawn because one it's higher ground and two there's a lot more um i guess angles because that's very very important you can get from that side and even on heavy round it's third round and i'm rushing in and i just have the angles on these guys it's just uh, we're just dropping their team left and right obviously we're not playing the best people but you get a general dose of what we're doing right so right now where i'm at is obviously called bottom heavy uh we spawn on good side and there's three ways things can usually go. We can They can go middle hallway, where if you saw the very first round, that's where I went. There's the right lane, which we call the canopy lane. That's the canopy right there, top canopy and then bottom canopy. I'm going towards middle lane right now. And to my left, we call that um, the left lane, which is the either you can call it the sliders. We call it the inside sliders um, and bottom heavy. Um, but yeah, we're pretty much just ripping through this team. Uh, this is their initial spawn that I'm in right now, and as you guys have noticed, uh, the timing of the video is pretty long, so we actually have two games back-to-back, -back. and a lot of you guys in the stream ask me, hey Snipes, why do you back out so fast right after the game ends? That's because it already counts as a win, and any loot we're going to get, we're already going to get it. So you can actually save 30 seconds of your time, and with TKO Gaming carrying over 1,700 people to the lighthouse, you know, every second counts, we've literally... You know, if we help hundreds of people each weekend, so it's very, uh, it's efficient to just, you know, go back and just knock it out. So I got 10 kills that first game. We're going to go ahead and start the second one up. And you guys will kind of see the whole process and see how fast it is. Um, this is pretty much how we do it, guys, for anyone that does come to us for help. Um, you're missing out if you're not in the live stream. That's pretty much the place to be, and the link is in the description below. Um, so you can hit that uh, link and then you can go and hit that follow button so you get notified when we're live. I, it also is linked to my Twitter so it tweets out a live tweet every time I launch my Twitch to when I go live. That's also very important. So that was the good side spawn. This next game you're going to see is actually going to be the bad side spawn. Um, and as you guys know, Destiny is definitely geared more towards the PvE aspect of it with strikes, raids, nightfalls, all that good stuff. But since that stuff is not really active right now, I really encourage every single one of you to get accustomed to Crucible and maybe even competitive gaming a little bit more. Uh, TKO Gaming is here to help you do that. 
Um, trust me, trust me, trust me. This game is not like other games where you need to be a born killer. Uh, just a natural monster to be good at the game. This game is actually like 90% of the time um, just outsmarting your opponent rather than having better gun skill than them. Um, because there's the, you spawn with special ammo, shotguns and snipers can easily kill anyone. Um, and even in regular Crucible, if you're going to use like heavy ammo, it's pretty easy to kill people too. So just kind of understanding the way, like if someone's better than you, kind of understand the way they're playing, their thought process. And that's pretty much how you become better. Make sure your settings are right. Um, if you guys have any questions, I answer live questions on stream for anyone that comes through like, hey, what's the best Solar Titan setup? Hey, what's the best Arc Warlock setup? Um, what's the best, you know, Arc Hunter setup or whatever? So it's all stuff that you can just learn just by, you know, taking some time coming over to TKO Gaming saying what's up to us. And obviously we're just going to welcome you with open arms. But this middle lane is a very, very popular lane for this, um, um, for this, this week of trials, you know, um, trials is going to keep going. I think trials was a great thing that Bungie came up with. Um, it's one of those things where, um, they just need to introduce new gear and new aspects of it. It's it's the only thing that really keeps Destiny competitive for the general public, and I think that's a great, great thing. It really gets people to work as a team because you can easily kill... And Planet Destiny did a podcast on this. You can easily get more kills than the other team, but the other team will win the game because they out-revived you. I think that's great. That's why, as you guys noted in my last episode of Art of Osiris, I state that you should have two people with fast res aka light beyond nemesis or crest of alpha loopy on um that way all three people on your team can fast res um and all you need is two out of the three people to have that then that way you also create more orbs as well so it's just a very very smart thing to do to be honest and what we like to do is the person that we're helping out we always tell that person hey look if you don't get all the kills it does not matter you just need to be with us at all times whether that be collapsing on the other team or getting revives you just need to be with us don't go rogue and just be lollygagging around the map uh, i can't believe i just said that word i've never ever used that word before um but yeah just you know stay with us if you have questions ask questions you're not a guinea pig we're not using you as bait we're not well sometimes i guess we could do that but i mean for the most part we want you to learn we want you to get better right that's the purpose of this game oh my god i think i destroyed these kids right here check this out oh geez rest in peace um anyway so yeah that's what we do here at tko gaming we get you to the lighthouse no matter what it takes man so thank you guys once again for all the support the support on twitch recently has been amazing i gotta say it's been amazing so don't be scared of it i know a lot of people are like man i've never used twitch before let tko gaming be your first stream so you can be a part of the family as we grow we are nearing 10,000 followers on twitch which is amazing and obviously we're nearing i think 27,000 on youtube which is also very cool but sharing this series with people will really get people to get better at PvP. Man, that's what I want to see, dude. I know this game is... I feel like if the public is... If the general public is more interested... I, wow, I slurred my words. If the general public is more interested in PvP and competitive gaming in Destiny, why would Activision and Bungie not cater to the general public obviously it's a business right they want the public to be happy i hope or they want the majority of the public to be happy so with more people interested in pvp and crucible and whatever else they'll actually introduce more competitive aspects of destiny and i think that would be an amazing thing for this game that'll definitely keep players like myself on this game and i know tons of other players uh very very good and skilled players they'll also be a part of this game and i mean hey if you're a skilled player what are you doing hiding your skills you should be helping the public out help other people get better at the same time guys so that's pretty much our what we like to do uh, and the run we have right now guys is um i'm running arc uh my buddy here he's been changing from arc to um void walker oh uh, not void walker sorry arc to uh what's that called 
um, the Shade Step Hunter, whatever it's called, the Night Stalker, my fault. And then uh, our third is the self res Warlock, which, hey, man, self res Warlock is very cool. And that snipe was like right in between the two people's heads. That was nuts. I can't believe that happened. Um, but yeah, we, lo we love putting on a show on the stream. All right, guys, and there you have it. Please, if you like the video, if you want to see more of the Art of Osiris series and episode three, obviously coming next week, just smack a like on this video. Let's see if we can get like three likes. If we can get three likes, that'd be pretty damn cool because then I'll be putting more videos out. It'll help other people see it and all that great stuff. Come say what's up to us in the stream. Remember, guys, life is short, so please stop complaining. Stay blessed and just make the best of everything, man. I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.